Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honors, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. I'd like to give double honors and a Shalom to all the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. I'd like to give double salutations and a Shalom to the hopefully elect. And I'd like to give a, a Shalom to all you brothers and sisters out there who believe in this truth. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, which means he to be or he exists, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of the beloved Heavenly Son, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And his name means he the Savior or he the deliverer. Right? This is your brother Yahweh Shai, GMS St. Louis, back at you with another lesson. I was thumbing, you know, I'm always on social media, just thumbing through, looking at things, you know, being a watchman. And I ran across this video. And I there's four parts to this video. But uh, I first found it on TikTok, right? Uh, I'll put the link in the description box. <laughs> but I went and I sought out the video for myself to see the video in its whole ent entirety. And... Uh, when I saw the whole video, I immediately thought about these other groups out there who teach contrary to the scriptures. OK. They teach contrary to the scriptures. They go off their own understanding. Right. And um, I thought about the other groups, you know, I IUIC and Wi-Fi and any of those other groups. I, I, I don't know off the top of my head that that teach uh, that. The mark of the beast is sin and embargo, sleeping white with white women, whatever, whatever, because that's that's not scriptural. OK, <laughs> so the name of this uh, video is going to be, you know, what you got to say now. What what you going to say now? OK. What are IUIC and Wi-Fi? What you going to say now? OK. OK, because this man, uh, Carl Sanders in this video he worked on he worked on 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 the microchip okay and he's going to give his own words his uh, in his own words what this thing is and, and what it do i just ask that uh those of you watching this video just bear with me for a little while while i uh while i you know uh i'm gonna show try to show as much as i can because you know jake got short attention spans but after this man got to say what he got to say, what what are you going to say now? What can you say? Except you, you're you not going to come out and say it. But GMS was right. And these scriptures, first and first and foremost, the scriptures was right. The scriptures gave a, 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 a accurate description. And GMS, the, uh, the, the apostles of GMS were right. I'm a Johnny come lately. You know, I, I'm just glad to be in this knowledge, this truth. And have an understanding. But those of you who are in the other groups, what can you say? Even if you don't you don't take heed to this video, what what else can you say? There's nothing else to say. The man that, that helped develop this thing came out of his mouth and, and the document it's on YouTube. The man say he helped develop this thing. And it's according to what the scriptures say. What else can you say? Okay. Without further ado, we're going to get into the video. I just ask that you bear with me because it's in, in parts. But, you know, we still going to bring it out. Okay. All right. And then at the end, you know how we, we always do. We're going to get into some scriptures. Okay. Because I, I, I honestly, I don't like talking. I, I ain't much of a talker. OK, I just like bringing out the scriptures because I'm, I'm not intelligent enough. OK, and I and I hope and pray you how about shimmy uh uh embark wisdom upon me. But I just like bringing out the scriptures. OK, so without further ado, let's get into this video. And like I said, what what else can you say? I U I C Wi Fi. All those who teach teach contrary to this doctrine. All right, let's get it. Yeah, here it is. 
Many people have asked me, isn't there some way around this this device, this microchip? Mulți m-au întrebat, nu există o altă cale care să nu fie acest microchip, care microchip care se pune electronic. Could, could a blood, could a glove be made with a microchip in it so I could still get food? Pot să fac o, o mănușe în loc să-l pun pe pielea mea sau în trupul meu, în trupul meu, acest microchip. We have the greatest answer, and that is Jesus Christ. Avem cel mai mare răspuns, da, Domnul Iisus Hristos. Did you hear what the man said? He said, what else can we do to get around this microchip? Can we get a glove? Is there anything around it? Now, this is the man you can see at the top of the screen, Carl Sanders, right? And he go go on and give his testimony. This is the guy that actually helped make this thing, okay? He helped make this thing. And I'm, I'm assuming, speaking as a man, that he realized what he did and then he tried to turn around, okay? He tried to turn this thing around. And it shows that the spirit uh, of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, was on top of this man to, to help create and develop this thing, okay? I'm going to stop talking, but I'm going to play the videos, as you see. It's, it's kind of long, lengthy, so, you know, uh, 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 hang in there with me. I want to share in the in the time that I have left a little of my testimony. Vreau să împărtășesc cu dumneavoastră mărturia personală a mea în timpul care mai stă la dispoziție. In 1966 I was I was put on a project. În 1966 am fost mi s-a dat un proiect. I had been with IBM and and uh, now I was with General Electric. Lucrasem pentru compania IBM și acum lucram pentru compania General Electric. The project was to develop a little microcircuit. Proiectul era ca să proiectez, să concep un circuit foarte mic. That would connect the nerve ends on a broken spine back together. Ca să conectez terminațiile nervoase atunci când s-a rupt șira spinării, să fac o conexie electrică la a nervilor. This seemed like a good idea to me and something that uh, that I would want to be a part of. Mi s-a părut o idee foarte bună și ceva care îmi plăcea plăcere să particip în așa un studiu. I was a very zealous engineer. I worked very hard. I worked many long hours. Eram un uh, inginer plin de zel, îmi plăcea să lucrez și mă dedicam și lucrau more multe. I was a design engineer and used Boolean algebra, Boolean equations to design computer circuits. Și uh, eram uh, un proiectant, inginer proiectant și foloseam uh, calcule matematice ca să fac aceste uh, proiecte de aceste circuite. We did not we were not successful with the young lady with the broken with a severed spine. N-am putut și n-am avut succes cu tânăra fată care și-a rupt și raspinării nervii au fost rupți să putem să i reconectăm. And as time went along it looked like they were going to close our project down. project down. Uh, și cu timpul se părea că acest proiect va fi închis. We had learned many things, but she was not doing well. Am învățat prin acest proiect multe lucruri, dar femeia pe care vreau să o tratăm nu s-a vindecat deloc, nu, nu a făcut niciun progres. Much of our research data had been publicized. Multe din lucrurile pe care noi le-am făcut, le-am cercetat cu această ocazie au fost publicate. And some men came to us that we were to find out were from the government. Niște oameni au venit la noi și după am aflat mai târziu că erau din partea guvernului. They were from the CIA and the FBI. Veneau de la CIA și FBI. And they asked us to develop a little microchip for identification. Și ne-au cerut să de, să proiectăm acest microchip pentru identificare. This was to be used not in human beings, not in animals but to be put in drug shipments to catch drug dealers. Uh, acest uh, sistem va fi uh, urma să fie pus nu în animale sau în oameni, ci va fi pus cu uh, transportul de droguri, de medicamente ca să identifice uh, pe traficanții de droguri. They came with a lot of money. Și au venit și mi-au oferit foarte mulți bani. 
And so we were willing to do whatever we could. Așa că am fost gata să facem tot ce ni s-a cerut. I want to tell you at this point that I was not a Christian and I did not want anything to do with Christians. La timpul acesta în care eu lucream la acest proiect, vreau să vă spun că nu eram credincios și nici nu aveam să am de a face nimic cu credința în Dumnezeu și cu viața de credință. But I had married a young lady who was a Christian. Dar eram căsătorit cu o tânără femeie care uh, era credincioasă. She wasn't a very good Christian, so I thought I could take her out of that. Nu era așa de grozavă creștină cu pisa poromie și am crezut că cu timpul am să pot o scot de la viața de credință. The problem was she had a mother-in-law. Problema ei era că avea și uh, I had a mother-in-law, excuse avea, me. Avea și o mamă ea, deci aveam și o soacră. And she prayed for me. Și mama soacră s-a rugat pentru mine. I told her to leave me alone. I did not want her to pray. I-am spus lasă-mă în pace, nu vreau să te rogi pentru mine. I moved as far away from her as I could get so I wouldn't have to listen to her prayers. M-am mutat cât am putut de departe de ea ca să nu mai trebuie să ascult la rugăciunile ei. God knows no distance in prayers. Dar Dumnezeu nu are nu cunoaște the project. Și pentru că v-am spus lucrul acesta, vreau să ne întoarcem la proiectul despre care am început să vorbim. We had developed the first identification device. Am de, uh, proiectat și am conceput primul uh, aparat de identificare. And it was completed in the early 70s. Și a fost completat acest proiect în începutul anilor 70. They came back to us and they said we want something better than that. Și au venit înapoi la noi și ne-au spus vrem ceva mai bun decât ce ați făcut până acum. And so we said if you have enough money we can develop anything. Și le-am spus, dacă aveți bani destui, nu putem să concepem orice, să proiectăm ce vreți voi. I was not alone there, there were a hundred people involved in the project. Proiectul acesta nu era numai al meu, singur lucram la el, erau o sută de oameni care lucrau împreună cu mine. Some were from General Electric, some from Motorola. Unii erau de la compania General Electric, alții de la Motorola. Some were from the Bell Laboratories. Alții de la laboratorul Bell. Some were from the Boston Medical Center. Și alții de la centrul medical din Boston. And some were from Stanford University. Și unii de la Universitatea Stanford. My responsibility was project leader or the the senior project engineer. Și responsabilitatea mea era eram conducătorul proiectului sau inginerul senior. We began to work on the design of a microchip. Și am început să lucrăm să proiectăm acest microchip. That when it was completed, astfel încât a trebuit să fie când a fost terminat, was 0.75 millimeters in diameter. Avea un diametru de 0,7 mm. 7 millimeters long. 7 mm lungime. It was the size of one fourth of a grain of rice. Era de mărimea a, a patra din, a unui pop de grâu. O pătrime a unui pop de grâu. De orez. Rice. Again, I want to say that I was not a Christian and there were no Christians there. Și vreau să vă spun că nici eu nu eram credincios și nici unul dintre cei care lucram nu știu să fi fost credincioși. They said they wanted this to have a power source and be able to emit a signal. Mi au spus că acest microchip care l-am făcut trebuie să aibă o sursă de energie ca să poată să transmită. And they told us they wanted us to use lithium as a battery source. Și mi au spus că pentru bateria care va trebui să alimenteze să folosim litium, elementul acesta litium. Lithium is used in watch batteries. It's used in uh, heart pacemaker batteries. It's used in a lot of places. Lithium is folosit in bateriile de la ceas, în cei care au pacemaker, nu știu cum se spune românește, la la inimă ca să regleze bătăile inimii. I designed into this microchip a little charging circuit that would charge that battery. Și am făcut ca să aibă și un o linie prin care să se încarce aceste baterii. This sounds like a lot of technical things coming together, but if you'll bear with me one minute, you'll see what God has laid out about this microchip. 
Se pare că aici să vorbim de niște lucruri tehnice care nu prea văd că au o legătură, dar Dumnezeu a lucrat și în privința aceasta în, în ceea ce s-a făcut și o să vă explic mai târziu de ce vă spun aceste lucruri. When we discovered that we needed to know, we needed to be able to charge that battery, când am descoperit că trebuie să încărcăm această baterie, I needed a temperature change, a change in temperature to cause current to flow through that little charging circuit that would charge the battery. Aveam nevoie de o schimbare de temperatură ca să poată să treacă un circuit prin baterie ca să o încarce. So I began to we began to investigate and find out where in the body does the temperature change the most rapidly. Și așa că ne-am dus și am făcut cercetări să vedem în care parte a corpului temperatura se schimbă cel mai mult. We spent over a million dollars in taxpayer money. Am cheltuit un milion de dolari în proiectul acesta din banii celor care plătesc taxele. And when the results came back, și când au venit rezultatele, there were The information uh, there was a lot of information. Era foarte multă informație în legătură cu proiectul acesta. We divided it up amongst three teams. Și le-am împărțit informațiile în, în trei echipe care să le studieze. And then came back together with that information. Și apoi ne-am adunat împreună ca să discutăm informațiile acestea. It was determined that there were two places in the body that were ideal for the microchip. Astfel am ajuns la concluzia că erau două locuri în corpul omenesc care sunt ideale pentru a plasa acest microchip. One was just below the hairline on the forehead. Una era chiar lângă păr, pe frunte. Every mother checks their child's temperature right here. Toate mamele verifică temperatura copilor aici pe frunte. So we could have paid the mothers a million dollars and saved the Puteam să le plătim la mame un milion de dolari și ne spuneau ele rezultatul. Nu mai trebuia să facem cercetări. I never saw a mother check their child's temperature on their ankle. N-am văzut nicio mamă să verifice temperatura copilului la glezne. Always right here. Totdeauna aici pe frunt. The other place was the hand, the right hand preferred, because ah. most people are right-handed. Alt, loc, alt locul era pe mâna dreaptă, pentru că majoritatea oamenilor uh, sunt cu mâna dreaptă. Dreptaci. <laughs> I, this didn't bother me and it didn't bother anybody else on the team. The hand seemed a good place. Nobody wanted it here. And so the design work, everything was completed, the microchip was done. Astfel că munca a fost terminată, proiectul a fost încheiat și microchipul a fost proiectat. You are seeing it now on some of the Discovery Channel presentations. Uh, uh, there are people who have received it already. It is real. It's not something that's coming way down the road. la televizor, ați văzut pe canalul Discovery că vorbesc despre lucrul acesta și sunt oameni care deja l-au. Deci nu e ceva care fantezie, e ceva real. Now God has got a sense of humor. Dumnezeu are un simț I used a weird African olives remedy for 33 days, and here's what happened to my hair. I are un simț al umorului. And so a second little gray-haired lady began to pray for me. Astfel că o altă school. Și această doamnă a venea și lua pe fata noastră mai în vârstă, o ducea la biserică la școala dominicală. My daughter came to me one day. My wife was. I told her, I guess you can. You need to wear a coat. I think you're going to get wet or something. My daughter went back and told this gray-haired lady. Fata mea s-a dus și a spus acestei doamne cu părul cărunt. And she sent her back and said, "Ask your dad to come to the baptism." Și aceasta i-a spus, "Roagă-l pe tatăl tău să vină și el la botez." Yes, I like you. So I went. I I just. Pierdeam un meci de fotbal. Dar am zis că pot să vin repede. Salakia. Well, anyway, you heard what the man said. It ain't too much more you could say after that. But get the scriptures, okay? The man described everything. He gave his testimony, okay? He told what he did, who he was, okay? 
Revelations 13, right? Revelations 13, right? And we're going to start at the 14th verse. And he deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had the power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. Verse 15, and he had the power to give life to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not to worship the image of the beast should be killed. Okay? So they make this microchip. If you don't take it, you're going to be killed. Right? Verse 16. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive the mark in their right hand, just like the man said. Just like the man said, he didn't want nothing to do with Christianity. He didn't want nothing to do with nobody praying for him. Right? They want nobody to do it, but he talked about the right hand or in their forehead when he talked about the children getting a temperature uh, taken on their foreheads. Come on, man. How you I, I, I see Wi-Fi? How y'all get around that, man? The man that developed on the board in charge of a, a large uh, a production of this thing didn't have nothing to do with Christianity. No, didn't want nobody to pray for him, right? <laughs> He developed this thing. These scriptures is right, man. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy, buy or sell, save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of man. And his number is six hundred three score six. Let's get one more. For these bird brain Negroes. Habakkuk two and three. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Revelations 13. Okay. All you want to all you guys who want to preach outside what the scriptures say. Okay. It's not lying. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And those of you who are new, we talking about the mark of the beast, not to take it. You can't buy a sale, okay, if you don't have the mark of the beast. But if you take this thing, you're going to be utterly destroyed. We talking about all these other groups who are teaching contrary to the doctrine, okay? Avoid them, as the scriptures say. Be like the church of Berea. Search these things out. Make sure that they are real. Okay? Make sure that they, they, they are according, that they are teaching according to the scriptures pursuant to Acts 17, chapter 10, like the church of Berea. Do your homework. Be diligent. Okay? Don't take the mark. Okay? Come unto the grace and knowledge uh, and, and, and of of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, okay. With that, I hope your brothers and sisters have been edified. This is your brother Yahushai, GMS St. Louis, and Shalom, Shalom.